Hey YouTube, I thought I'd get this review out pretty quick while this knife is still relatively new. So if you've seen this knife before, it is the Carter Prime, designed by Robert Carter and made by Ontario Knife Company. And if it looks familiar, not from the Carter Prime, but uh, you might recognize it from Robert Carter's custom design. I think it's called the Generalist. Um, I think um, Terra Fanatic might have a video on his channel of that knife. You want to check the custom version out, but this is the production version made by Ontario Knife Company. So there's a couple views of it before I get into the specs of the knife. Okay, so for the specs, I'll just go over the measurements first. It's got a blade length of 3.375 inches, handle length of 4.625 inches, a handle thickness of 0.51 inches, and a blade thickness of 0.15 inches. Overall it is 8 inches and it weighs 5.24 ounces. So for being a 3.375 inch blade, it is a chunk of a knife. It is fairly heavy. There's no milling out of the scales, nothing like that, because it is a fairly cheap knife, but I'll get into that later. Okay, so for the design, you got a dark bead blasted type finish. It's really smooth though, kind of just has the bead blasted look. Acid stone washed blade it looks like. There you can see it says Carter Prime and OKC Taiwan. So made in Taiwan, obviously. Sheep's foot blade. There's the flipper tab. Nice and functional. From what I've seen, the pictures of the custom compared to this, it pretty much looks exactly the same. Other than the, the writing on the blade, it's pretty much spot on. It's got a milled sculpted pocket clip held in by two screws at the back. Very functional. Tension uh, is really good, not too strong, not too loose. Really hard to, well, there it is. The stainless steel lock insert, so that's pretty cool. A little lighter lockup, probably about 70% lockup, but it's pretty much stayed there since I got it, so it might move a little, but I'm not expecting it to move too much. Really like the really skinny handle. Kind of a little thicker blade. Feels really cool in the hand. Really like the kind of oddball design that it has. Nice big pivot screw. Full tie backspacer at there. I don't think I have a knife that has a full tie backspacer. Um, all of my titanium knives, I think, have just normal barrel standoffs. So the way this knife ships, it ships in this Carter Prime uh, Ontario Knife Company box. There's got the address, phone fax, made in Taiwan on it. Flimsy, cheap, but for a cheap knife, you're not really expecting to get a nice big presentation and pouch and everything. So cheap, this knife is 80 I think I got it for 82 and it was 86 after shipping and taxes and everything. So very good price. It's on bearings. Um, from what it looks to me, I didn't look it up, but I think, yeah, you can't really see it. I think it's on IKBS or um, some type of loose uh, non-caged ball bearings. They could be caged, I don't know, but uh, they don't look caged from, from what I saw looking at the pivot. Nice jimping in the back, jimping right in the front just a little so when you flip it you hit right here and you're not on the jimping which I hate when you hit the jimping after you flip it it's just useless and doesn't feel good. There's some jimping on the blade. Nice and strong really grips in. I think that's hollow ground. Yep. Hollow ground blade. I really like the look of it and the feel in the hand is really great. 
I also like the milling out right here to give you more access, especially since it has a later lockup. Makes it a lot easier to get in there. If that didn't have that milling, it'd be a lot harder. Um, oh shit. There we go. So you can see it flips really well. It's really smooth. Close it with the bearings. Nice detent, not too strong, but flies right out. Okay, so now I'll get into, um, I guess, a couple of the issues with the knife. So it is an $86 knife. You're getting full tie handles, backspacer, and a D2 blade. So that's really cool. I think the D2 says it's hardened to a 57 to 59 Rockwell. So that's really good also. So the only bad things I can really say about the knife are, are the quality control. You can see on the backspacer there, that's one thing I noticed. Kind of uh, chipped and scratched and stuff. Not a big deal, not a big big enough of a deal for me to really care about it. Just just something to look at. Also, um, the later lockup. That's a little something. I did notice the blade grind might not be perfectly, um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to focus on that, I don't think, but um, I think where the grind starts on the left side might be a little lower than on the right side. It's a little hard to see. That's another thing. If you look closely, you can really tell. Other than that, there is really not much. Um, right out of the box, it was covered in oil. So it had a very sticky lock, but you just wipe that oil off and everything flipped nice now. All of the screws seem to be tight. Nothing wrong there. So I wanted to do a little comparison, mainly on price. So this is the Browse Bionic. I think it originally retailed for about 170 Also a D2 blade. Let me wipe that off. So also comes with a D2 blade. I think it's 0.125 inch thick. The Carter Prime is 0.15 inch thick and was $82. So between these two knives, one was 170 and one was 82, and you really wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Um, or if somebody handed you and said which one was 170 and which one was 82. I think you'd probably flip flop which one, uh, which one it really was. So, full tie and tie backspacer compared to aluminum and D2. So, I still think that was a good price for this Browse Blades, but I think the price for this Carter Prime is just amazing with full titanium. You're just getting so much. And you're getting such good materials for the price. You're getting a pretty good um, fit and finish. Just a couple little issues. Nothing really big. Everything functions well. Feels like it locks up tight. Definitely going to be carrying it a lot. So I think right now as I'm making this, they're sold out on Blade HQ. Um, but they sold out originally and I went in um, checked every day and I think after about a week probably they uploaded more so just keep checking back if they are sold out because they will have more and I'm assuming other sites will too other than that don't forget to go check out my other videos don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching